Welcome back, it's Dr. D with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear, and today I'm gonna answer a really common question, which is, is it okay for me to get over-the-counter readers from the store? All right, so over-the-counter readers are extremely common. What happens when you get over around 40 is that your focusing ability decreases up close. And so what you start to notice as you get close to 40, and especially between 40 and 45, is that your arms just aren't long enough anymore. You kind of find that it's hard to see things that are super up close, and it's a little easier if you push them back. So many of my patients and many folks in general um, start to look for over-the-counter reading glasses. Now over-the-counter reading glasses are really nothing more than magnifiers. So we're going to talk a little bit about you know, the good and the bad of that. So here's the good of over-the-counter reading glasses. They are super, super cheap and they are super... Uh, accessible so you can find over-the-counter reading glasses literally everywhere I feel like every gift shop every drugstore every grocery store readers are literally everywhere they're so easy to find and they're super super cheap in a lot of cases you can get them at the dollar store for a buck a piece they come in varied prescriptions. So you're gonna find them in plus powers. That's because plus powers magnify. And typically if you're having trouble up close, you need a plus prescription for that. So you'll see them in about plus one, 150, 175, two, 225, 250, all the way up to even three or 350 at different times. Folks that use readers usually just go to the store and start putting some on and find out what works best for them. So let's talk about some of the limitations of over-the-counter readers. Number one, over-the-counter readers don't account for any underlying prescription you have. So if you are nearsighted, um, it doesn't account for that. If you're actually a little bit farsighted, it doesn't account for anything for far away. They're nothing but magnification for up close. Number two, they don't account for prescription differences between the two eyes. So while most of my patients have fairly symmetric prescriptions, uh, prescriptions don't tend to be exactly the same in both eyes. So let's say you need a plus 150 reader in your right eye, but you need a plus two in your left. You're not gonna find that at the store. It's not possible. Number one, readers don't do anything for underlying prescription you have. Number two, they don't um, account for the fact that you could have a prescription difference between the two eyes and need differing levels of magnification. Number three, they're not made for you. So they're just all made about the same, meaning so every lens optically has an optical center. Uh, what your optician is doing is lining up the optical center with your pupil, giving you the best possible vision through lenses. And readers off the rack, they don't know how tall you are, how short you are, how close your eyes are together, how far they are apart, where you hold your reading material. So they're not specific to you. These readers are just off the rack, made for everybody, and they could cause eye strain because you may be looking through optical centers that are either too close together or too far apart. Next, we can talk about lens quality with readers. So lens quality is typically not great. One of my favorite stories and not favorite stories is that I had a patient who brought in their readers. I was reading them back in our lab. I got finished reading them and thought, oh, I'll clean these off for the patient because they look just really cloudy. And the minute I put our cleaner, our heavy duty cleaner in our lab on the lenses, the plastic was so cheap that they just crackled up and I had ruined her reading glasses. <laughs> Thankfully, she had gotten them um, super, super ridiculously cheap and didn't even care. But sometimes the lens quality is so bad that optically you're really not seeing well through them because the plastic is so hazy. 
Um, they also are not treated with any anti-glare. So most people are using their readers to look at their phone. And if you're looking at any type of screen, you're gonna be looking at some glare. There's also blue light that comes off of computer screens, including your cell phone screen. And when you get over-the-counter readers from the store, they have no anti-glare on the lenses whatsoever. So not only can it be more physically straining to your eyes, but um, you're just not blocking any of that extra light. All right, so those are some pretty good reasons why readers may not be the best for you. So you might be thinking, what is the alternative? Well, first of all, get an eye exam with your local optometrist because we can determine not only your distance prescription, but your reading prescription. We can also talk to you about how you use your eyes daily. So there's a big difference if you're on a computer screen that sits 20 inches away versus um, maybe you're doing something really up close. I have patients who are, you know, using their eyes for something really, really close to them all day. That actually makes a difference and we can custom make glasses that make your eyes more comfortable in your life. Finally, it is possible to have prescription reading glasses. Your optometrist can advise you about this, but make sure to talk to them about getting prescription reading glasses. That way you can have high quality lenses anti-glare, potentially some blue light protection, you'll have much more comfortable vision that is specific to your particular prescription situation. Thanks as always for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and informative regarding readers. As always, don't take this as medical advice. This is just a jumping off point. If you've got questions about readers, I'm happy to answer down in the comments below and always refer to your local optometrist for more information. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.